No, because we just see these stupid new Macs on YouTube. I thought I'd give you a real classic. One that is still pretty cool and uh, is way cooler than most of the new stuff Apple brought out in the last few years. And I'm meaning the stupid new MacBook in particular. But let's screw these and see a real classic, as I said. The iMac G3 Ruby. Now this hasn't run in a while, so I have no idea what's on it, but we'll find out. I will get it out of its corner here and uh, get it hooked up to my network and see if we can play a little bit with it. Now some of you have written under my videos that you want to see more action and not just cuts. So yeah, I don't find computer wiring too interesting, but well, hey, uh, um, why not? Thank you for the feedback anyway. So let's get uh, the stuff out of the way. Because yes, this computer is from 2000. It needs a little bit more space than today's computers. Here is the iMac. Uh, it's really heavy. Pretty dusty, my gosh. It's gonna need a good clean. But hey, hopefully you can see it. Here we have the connectors. And that's still a good bit more than the ones that are on the new MacBook. <laughs> two Firewire 400s, two USB ones, which are, yeah, semi-useful in today's standards. We have an Ethernet. This one is obsolete, though. This is, uh, you know, the modem. No one uses that anymore. And we have audio in and out, and we've got two more audio out on the front here. Here we have the lovely optical drive, which is uh, actually my least favorite part to replace on these machines because they have this um, kind of special um, kind of size for these iMacs. So they're really expensive when you buy them, but thankfully mine will still work. So here we have the power cord. We certainly need that. Mouse and keyboard. And network. So. Righty. Let's lift the stand here. I like that more. <laughs> That's quite a lot of dust on this machine. Whatever. Let's move you a little closer there. Let's zoom out. So we get here, uh, I believe, 13 inch CRT, 1024 by 768. Yeah, it's not the best, but hey, still works. So let's boot it up. I don't even know what's on this computer, but we'll see. Now, one thing I know right away is that I took out the original hard drive because it was way louder. But I kind of kept it around for, you know, retro reasons. Oh, and it runs now OS X. That is good. I think it's Tiger. So, yeah, I'm actually 3 booting up. Flickering is because the CRT has a refresh rate that the camera can see but not the eye, so I'm sorry. Oh, now I remember everything. Okay. <laughs> ah, yeah, this is the, the Spanish one. <laughs> there you see it. La fecha del ordenador es anterior el 24 de marzo, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is Spanish. Me and a friend installed that just for the sake of it. You know, I'm not good at Spanish, so I thought I'd make a computer that runs in Spanish. But I never really ended up using it that much. Let's go into Firefox and see if it has internet connection. But no, well this is loading, if I can do it. No, it doesn't seem to let me. <laughs> Oh, it's Panther. 
10.3.9. Oh, yes. Now I remember everything. Oh, it's a while ago where we installed that. Um, here you have it. Specifications. 400 megahertz. Power PC G3. Yeah, this is no stupid Intel Core M. This is power PC power from the 2000s. That is the G3. The good old G3, which... Yeah, it has probably no software support if it went so, but it's still cool. Now we have 320 megabytes of RAM. Now I remember I needed to decide between Tiger or Panther, but because it only has 320 megs of RAM, I went with Panther because it needs less RAM than Tiger, so... So, memoria, we have 164 megabyte module and one 256 megabyte module. You know, if you look at these sticks, it's kind of cool. Because today, it's like, yeah, every computer has 4 gigs of RAM or 8 gigs, it's standard. When did you last see a computer which had, like, sticks with 64 megs or so? It, it's pretty cool. It's like a journey back in time. So, hard drive we have, we'll see here. Um, oh, it has an OS 9 partition too? Oh, cool, we can check that out. 30 gigabytes, Maxter. So, yeah. Pretty nice. It, it's a little, uh, you know, my old hard drive from the Power Mag. It's really silent. So this computer, you know, this has also something in common with the new MacBook. This also doesn't have a fan. This has no fan. It has no moving part except hard drive. So it... If, if you think about it, this they managed to create a computer that is passively cooled, like in 2000. Now, obviously, this is a desktop, and the kind of you know G3 processor generates a lot less heat. And yes, the new MacBook has got ridiculous good engineering, but still, like uh, 15 years ago, they already managed to do some stuff like this, which I find pretty cool. Now, let's see if it still goes to a website. Best website in the, the universe. Yep, it loads it with this. Wow, so old version of Firefox. <laughs> this is so wrong what this is showing. And it's a certificate error. We will continue. It's like the Facebook stuff, the thingy which just uh, we can like and stuff. I kind of doesn't want that. And I think, no, it's good. Yeah, now you see it all loading here. Here should be a Twitter uh, iframe, which is not here. So, it's still this old Firefox. What is that, version 2 or 3 or something like this? Oh, yeah, version 2.20. That's the latest you can get for Panther, which sucks. But anyway, it's still better than the um, Internet Explorer 8, which is still... I mean, it's a piece of crap, but it's still way newer than this Firefox, and this still makes the website semi-working. But yeah, it's uh, not really that good anymore. But well, let's go to a WordPress website, which is a little more modern. See if it does it. You already see the top thing loading. Now, oh, yes, you won't get ridiculous good internet browsing experience in this machine anymore because, well, the web is like the, if not the biggest, uh, how can I call it, nemesis of these old machines, simply because they just lack power. You you can't really browse it smoothly anymore. You need to go out all the way to like a Power Mac G4 Dual. Then there you can browse it, I believe, good. But still not perfect, but way better than this. But wow, this is looking good. This is like perfect. I don't see a problem with this. I mean, you, the design is a little messed up, but I don't know. It has this kind of a fallback mode, WordPress. Wow. Amazing. WordPress is awesome. Now, that is good. That is good. 
And if you're asking, yes, all these stupid websites are hosted by me, so stop asking. Oh, it, it made it into the mobile. Oh, pretty nice. Oh, yes, as you can see, this looks like perfect. I mean, here it's a little messed up. If, if you're asking why I do that so in particular, well, I'm in, uh, I do a lot of web design and web development, also coding, but yeah, also a lot of design. So I kind of uh, like looking at this, how stuff works or still works in that case on ancient browsers and ancient machines. So yeah, that is pretty nice there. Now, we do one more website, and that is the one we all know, and you're on it right now too. YouTube, and it's gonna kill it. Yeah, yeah, continue. And we have certificate errors. Oh no, your browser is deprecated. <laughs> oh dear, still looks uh, sort of alright. Cookies are already there. Let's try searching for something. Search is not so fast, but hey, it works. At least, I think. Yeah, there we go. Google user content. Except. Yeah, yeah. Except all the certificates, because without these, the site is not gonna load. Alright. Here we go. We loaded it. Let's try to play this. Oh, it needs Adobe Flash or HTML5. Well, at least it loaded the site. Look at it. It still looks almost perfect. I mean, if it loaded these pictures, it would be perfect. And that is a freaking Firefox 2. That is crazy this is good I mean that browser still works it's missing the YouTube logo also it kind of doesn't want to display images here I think but hey I mean there you go you I'm browsing YouTube on a 15 year old iMac G3 running Firefox 2 that is pretty pretty cool you don't get that experience with new Macs <laughs> Now I do apologize a lot, but my phone ran out of, out of space. What you see here is Microsoft Office 2004 being copied from my iMac file sharing, which uh, still works perfectly on this old Mac OS X. As you can see there, this is a backup of a lot of Mac software. 90% of those went open on this machine because of, well, first OS X version and second, most importantly, the processor doesn't work because it's mostly Intel but there was also a lot of power PC stuff so and let's see if Office 2004 still works on this no I know it works on Tiger don't know if it works on uh, Panther that, lo that looks good it's initializing now I know that Dropbox doesn't work anymore on Panther that's a shame because on uh, Tiger it still does, like with the newest version on G3. Dropbox is the like the only company I still know that has got their latest software in 2015 for a G3 on Tiger. I, I, I don't know any other software company who has that. Or who has still the latest, well, still a working client mostly. Because... I don't think it's the latest one, you know, but it works like the, the latest one. I mean, Dropbox, is, there isn't a lot to Dropbox. It's like nothing more than seeking files, so. <laughs> yeah, so it is loading. And stuck at this Word .Mac thing. Screen, oh no, now it's, yeah, there we go. Pretty cool. Let's open it. Yes. Here we have it. Now these 320 megs of RAM you can see aren't really helping the performance out here, but uh, you can still, I mean it's the first start of the program also, 
You can still write documents on this without any huge deal. Now that's amazing document right there. So, yeah. There you go. Still useful for stuff like this. So, now, there's not a whole lot I can show you because there's nothing on it. But it's just the same. I tried to open up here, open Office 2.4. It's kind of cool. I think I at least, I enjoy going back to like in time with my old Macs. Because I have a lot of, I, I work with new computers like all the time. And they can get boring and they can get on your nerves. Not just the old PCs, also new ones. And then I look back, like, Panther is just, like, released in 2000, what, 2003? How things were back then. And how it looked, and, you know, and how everything changed. I kind of find that cool to do that once in a while. I can't really get around to it anymore as, I, as often as I used to. But, uh, these couple of times I, you know, want to do them. I, of course, share it with you, and, uh... Yeah, it's always a lot of fun. Now, I don't know if I do any crazy upgrading project on this because I've got a lot of other projects running also. But secondly, because there's not a whole lot on this that can be upgraded. If you're asking, hey, you didn't show us the OS 9. Well, I figured out there is nothing. It's just called OS 9. So I thought I, I planned installing OS 9 on this partition, but it kind of never happened, so... I'm sorry about that, but um, yeah, this is it, iMac G3 Ruby, I'm going to shut it down, still works perfectly, yep, quit, still has no problems, 15 years, guys, 15 year old machine still runs, perfect, so I thank you for your attention here. And uh, see you in the next video. Peace.